Hello and welcome to the Freakin' Rican restaurant channel. Today we'll be making pollo guisao. Okay, so first uh, for the pollo guisao, we have three quarter legs here, uh, which look just like this. And what we need to do is clean them off. So I'm gonna show you how to clean them and ba basically how to cut them, okay? So first we're gonna cut them right here, kind of in between the thigh and um, the leg. So we're just gonna slice it straight through here. And sometimes it's a little hard, so you gotta try a little over and then it should slice really nice and easy. We're gonna do the same thing to this one. No, that's the bone, still the bone. And here it should slice easier. And what we're gonna do is just clean off the extra skin. So we wanna discard that, this as well. And you wanna clean off some of the fat. So I'm gonna continue cutting these up and cleaning them off. And, um, and we'll be right back. Okay, so basically now we are done cutting them up. Um, so now it's time to clean them off. So we're gonna take them uh, and put them in the bowl. I'm gonna take them all just like this, throw them in here, and what we're gonna do is run them through some water. We just wanna rinse them off. Just like that. And then what I like to do is um, another little step. I like to take a cup of apple cider vinegar. I love apple cider vinegar. It gives, it, gives um, the food a, a good flavor. So what I'm gonna do is kind of rub them in. Um, just mix up this chicken with the apple cider vinegar. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this chicken straight from here. I already have here on my stove a pot um, boiling with water. So I filled it with about a third, um, a third of, of the pot of water. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply add the chicken into the water. So you could actually come a, a bit closer so you could see. Um, so we're just gonna take the pot and just, I'm sorry, take the chicken and just throw it right in there. So this is the first part of the pollo guisao. And then what I'll do is I'll start adding the carrots and the potatoes. I just want the chicken to kind of uh, give a nice uh, flavor to the water now. So we're gonna let that boil for about 20 minutes just by itself with no cover. And we're gonna have that on a medium high, okay? For 20 minutes and we'll come back and dice the vegetables, okay? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is basically add um, potatoes and carrots. So the carrots, I just bought the peeled ones, uh, the baby mini ones that are already peeled, so we don't have to do that. But now I'm just gonna show you, just in case some of you don't know how to peel a potato, I'm gonna show you, okay? So this is the peeler, and I'm just going to peel the potato here in my sink, just like this. And uh, obviously if you see chunks like this, you wanna kind of get that off of the potato. And that's it, just continue to peel it. And then once um, the chicken has come to a good boil and some of the water has reduced, then we'll add the potatoes in. So now this one is basically peeled already. So what we're gonna do is you could either cut it in half um, like this or you could cut it in four okay so what I'm gonna do since I have four potatoes I'm actually gonna cut them in half like this and then cut them again so there you go four um, pieces so we're using four potatoes because we like potatoes in in my household and I'm gonna keep on peeling them and we'll be right back okay okay so now um, the chicken has been boiling for actually 25 minutes um, on high. So if you look at the flame, it is uh, medium high. 
So that's uh, how high you want the flame. Now I slice the potatoes and I'm actually gonna drain them. So drain them just like that and now we're gonna just throw them into the pot just like that and we're gonna begin to season um, the chicken. So here I have a teaspoon of salt. So one teaspoon of salt. We have one tablespoon of oregano. We have a quarter teaspoon of cumin. We wanna make sure we get all that. And I think um, we're gonna need a little bit more so um, let me find my. I always say don't look at my cabinet because I have a mess. But anyway, um, so we're actually going to use a half a teaspoon of cumin, okay? Because that was a quarter, but that's not going to be enough. So we're going to use a half a teaspoon of cumin. Okay, I'll just leave this here. And here we have basically one uh, tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of powdered garlic, and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, okay? So we're gonna add that in. This would be like, uh, like your natural adobo or sesame, okay? Um, a, a third cup of sliced green olives. So you see I sliced them up, so that's a third cup. We're gonna add that in there. Make sure we get all of them. We have here a heaping tablespoon of capers. So we're gonna add that in there as well. And now it's time to add the freaking reekin sofrito. So we're gonna take and add two tablespoons. Ah, if I could get it, look, okay. Okay, so we're gonna have two. And look how gorgeous, I wish you could smell it. It looks so beautiful, but it's so fragrant. It smells so good. So we're gonna have two tablespoons, okay? Nice big tablespoons, don't be cheap. And now we're gonna add uh, some tomato paste, okay? So we're gonna add, I'm gonna take these spoons, which this is about a big uh, tablespoon. So we're gonna take about two tablespoons of uh, tomato paste. Okay, just like that. And we're gonna give everything a nice stir. And this is gonna, oh my God, it smells so good. I smell the garlic. Um, so we're gonna leave this in here and let it cook for another half hour on the same flame. And um, that way, uh, once again, the water will start to reduce, okay? So we're gonna leave that in there and keep on giving it a stir occasionally, okay? And we'll be right back. Okay, and I almost forgot, guys, um, the carrots, hello. Um, so we're gonna take about a handful, which would probably be uh, maybe half a cup. So let's throw that in there. Uh, maybe a little bit more. So this would end up being about a cup of carrots, okay? And we're just gonna leave that there, and I almost forgot as well, we're gonna add some fresh peppercorn, okay? So this is gonna be about a half a teaspoon, okay? And a teaspoon of atrope. Now that's that's it, and we're gonna let this boil for a good 20 to half an hour, let it reduce, so watch it. Um, maybe towards the middle, you wanna low down the flame a bit. Just watch how far down the, the water has reduced, okay? Because you don't want it to burn, but you do want it to thicken up a bit, okay? So give us another 25, 30 minutes, and we'll be back. Okay, so now it's actually been an hour and a half, so I'm sorry guys. I just added a little too much water, so I would recommend for you to add just a little bit less, and then it won't take so long. So this recipe took an hour and a half, okay? But now as you see, and here it's boiling, so we're gonna turn it off, and of course, I made some white rice, which is kinda falling apart on me. 
I was making it nice and beautiful for you guys. And now I am going to serve. So I am going to put the chicken right there. And let's get some potatoes and carrots. Just one second. And there you go. This is our chicken stew. There you go. Really nice and beautiful. With some olives and capers. And now it will soon be time to taste. So there you go. Okay, so now is the best time of the video, which is for me to taste it. So if you could just see, it looks really, really gorgeous and it's really, really hot. So, uh, of course, I want to dig in and have some. So I want a little of everything, a little potato, some olives, and let's taste this. I don't want to burn myself. Ha! Mmm! So, so good. Sorry. You're gonna love this recipe. Um, once again, thank you so much for all the love and support, all the comments that you guys leave on our YouTube page. Um, make sure to subscribe. make sure to subscribe under something always happens. Make sure to subscribe under, give us likes, um, visit our Facebook page at the Freaking Rican Restaurant um, at www.thefreakingricanrestaurant.com, and we also have shirts. We have black shirts. We have white shirts. Sofrito pasteles. Okay, um, we ship. All right. Thank you so much. Lo quiero y buen provecho.